Hey guys, today we are going to be looking at area of rectangles and parallelograms. We're going to answer the question, how do I find the area of rectangles and parallelograms? So remember, area is the total surface measurement of a 2D figure. It is the square units that it takes to cover a figure. So what I'm shading in on this rectangle would be its area. The area of rectangles and parallelograms can be found by using the formula below, where B is the base and H is the height. The height forms a right or 90 degree angle with the base. So you want to look for the two height and base that are forming a right angle and use those to find the area of the figure. So let's look at number one. This is a rectangle. So this is a 90 degree angle right here. 10 is my base and 2.3 is my height. So I can plug that into my a equals BH formula, I'll find the area of this rectangle by doing 10 times 2.3. So the area of this rectangle would be 23 millimeters squared. Okay, let's look at number two. This is a parallelogram. My base is 7.5 feet and that forms a right angle with the height of three feet. So to find the area of this figure, I'll do base times height. So I'll do 7.5 times three. So the area of this parallelogram would be 22.5 feet squared. Okay, let's look at number three. This is a square and these tick marks are showing me that it's a square by showing me that all the sides are congruent. So if the base is eight and the height is congruent to it, the height is also eight centimeters. So to find the area, I will do the base times the height. They're both eight, so I would do eight times eight. So the area of this square is 64 centimeters squared. Okay, let's look at number four. It wants us to find the area of the figure. So this is flipped. Um, it is just oriented differently than my other figures were, but I still have my two lengths that are forming a right angle. 27 yards would be the base of the figure and seven yards would be the height of the figure. So to find the area, I'll multiply those two together. I will do 27 times seven to find the area. The area of this parallelogram would be 189 yards squared. Okay, let's look at number five. I have a rectangle. The base is three-fourths meter and the height is 12 meters. So to find the area, I will do the base of three-fourths. times the height of 12. Remember, this is really like 3 fourths times 12 over 1, and we'll just multiply across. 3 times 12 is 36, and then 4 times 1 is 4, and 36 divided by 4 is 9. So the area of this rectangle would be 9 meters squared. Okay, let's look at number six. So they gave me some extra information here. Remember, I want the base and the height that form a right angle. So I'm gonna use 15 for the base, and then two would be the height since it forms the right angle. This is the side length of the parallelogram, but I do not need that to find the area of the figure like this problem is asking me. So to find the area, I'm gonna do the base times the height, and we just talked about how the base is 15, and the height is two. So that means the area of this parallelogram is 30 feet squared. Okay, number seven says, what is the side length of the square? So we need to work backwards a little bit. They gave us the area this time. They did not give us the side length. So remember the area of a rectangle or parallelogram is going to be base times height. 
So they gave me the area is 25. And I know that the side lengths are going to be the same. The base and height are gonna be the same because this is a square. So 25 will equal a side length times a side length. And the only two numbers that can multiply to get 25 that are the same are five. Five times five would equal 25. So that means that the side length of this square would be five meters because five times five is 25. Okay, let's look at number eight. It says a parallelogram has an area of 51 centimeters squared and a width of 17. What is the height of the parallelogram? So area is base times height. They gave me the area is 51 and they gave me the width or the base is 17 and the height is what I don't know. That's what I'm looking for. So let's go ahead and plug in what we have. The area is 51. The base or the width is 17. And I don't know what the height is. That is what I'm looking for. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave that as H in my formula. So now I just divide by 17 to find the height and 51 divided by 17 is three. So that means that the height is three centimeters. Okay, let's look at number nine. Jess is hanging up three picture frames that are nine inches by 13 inches in size. So this would be nine inches by 13 inches. How much wall space in total will the picture frames take up in square inches? So she's hanging up the three picture frames and we wanna know how much wall space it's gonna take up. So I'm gonna find the area of one picture frame and then multiply it by three. So I find the area by doing the base times the height so I'll find the area of one picture frame by doing nine times 13. Area of one picture frame is 117 inches squared, but I wanna find the area of three picture frames. So I'm gonna take the 117 for one picture frame and multiply it by three. Area of three picture frames would be 351 inches squared.